So I was at a flea market, just minding my own business, listening to music, and this fucking boomer starts talking to me about this Beatles album that I'm taking a picture of for a friend. And then he starts going on about Masonic rings that he's trying to sell and his coin collection. And I start recording, but I didn't realize how low my phone battery was and it fucking died in the middle of the recording. So I had to use a utility to recover the corrupted video. So it's all glitchy and shit. I've been there too many places in my life. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I, I used to be a deputy sheriff of Marion County. They're going to try to trick, trick me. That's I true. get at least in there 1500 2000 out of it. That's good money. Huh? That's good money. Yeah. But I'll probably spend it as soon as I get it. I'll probably uh, get me a truck, uh, move, move my stuff down the floor, and get the heck out of this, this state. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of Indiana. Yeah, me too. And Indiana's getting worse. Not as good as it used to be. Mm. But like I say, I mean, when I went in there, you know, I, when I first got married, we could fill a whole cart like that full of groceries, get a 24 pack of pop, go out of the store with tw uh, only paying $20. Huh. Chicken noodle soup in the can was only 10 cents a can. Mm -hmm. A dozen eggs was 10 cents. Milk yeah. was 35 cents. That's inflation. Way too much. Way too much. Cal ain't got that damn expensive where you have to charge that kind of money for milk. Yeah. If more people would start treating vets a lot better, it'd be a lot better off because yeah. this country has got where they think that we're free just because we're free. No, we're mm -hmm. not free because we're free. We're free because of veterans have kept this country free. And it's nothing else but that. And we finally got a president that gives a damn about the veterans. And he's doing everything he can. He's done everything so far he said he was going to do his... In his you can imagine where the conversation went from there. He started talking about Trump and then health care. He started saying shit like we got the best health care in the world and fucking Canadians come down here to get health care, which is fucking bullshit. At this point, I noticed my phone was dead, so I broke it off with him, told him to have a nice day. I went to the nearest tech booth and borrowed one of their batteries and started charging my phone. And five minutes pass, and this fucker comes around the corner. He starts talking to me like we hadn't fucking left the conversation. He just wouldn't shut the fuck up. He was just—he just doesn't shut the fuck up. So here's the rest of that. Mm. I've, I've had three subdural hematomas in my brain, but um, when I had my knee replacement, I went on the outpatient program, mm -hmm. went up to Ortho and D North, mm -hmm. and VA still had to pay for it. Mm. That doctor over there at the VA—I don't trust that guy with as far as I can throw him. But they do a good job. Most, most of the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've had three subdural hematomas in my brain. They've drilled four holes in my mm -hmm. skull. And they're a, they're a public institution, right? Mm -hmm. No, actually, they're not. You can't go in. You, nobody go over there except veterans. Well, better. I'm saying it's publicly run, not to well, open to the public. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a government a, it's run. Government run. It's government not, run. It's so it's basically, run. it's basically government run health care right. for, for veterans. Right. And, it, and they do pretty well. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. So why can't the American people have that? Why? I mean, what do you mean, why? We, we earned what we got. Okay, so you guys earned the right to live, we but nobody else right. did? We are, no, not really. Oh, okay. That's cool. But I, I think people I, should get the right to I, I, get I good health care. Yeah. And, and when I got off the plane out at the old Veracruz airport, mm -hmm. some guy walked to me and called me a baby killer. I knocked him right on his ass. Mm -hmm. And security didn't do a damn thing about it because they knew that I was right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well... I had a guy who came to uh, my house one time with a buddy of mine, and mm -hmm. he uh, he was bragging how he went up to Canada and he didn't have to fight for the war and all this other mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And I told that buddy of mine, I said, you know, you just tell your buddy get the, uh, get the hell out of here before I whip his ass. Mm -hmm. And he got him out of there. What about conscientious uh, objectors? Objective, same thing, basically. Okay. Okay. Oh, hell, uh... So this war that you went through, this was justified? This was a justified war? No, it wasn't a justified war. Then why would you blame conscious objectors? I don't understand. But it just doesn't matter. If why? you call for the service, you serve the service. Regardless of whether or not we're doing good or bad. That's right. Damn, that's crazy. No, it isn't. A little bit. No, it isn't. A little bit. If you love your country, you serve your country. Regardless of if the country's right or wrong, you serve it. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so you put country above, like, say God. No, not above God, but okay, I... Okay, what if, what if God came down and said, this war is unjustified, would you then side with God? Yeah, it's different. It's He's different. not going to come down. Ever? He's going to come down within the next 10, 12 years. Huh, interesting. You're right in the middle of revelations. You know, I keep hearing that. 
Well, you, you, you'll see it come, it's already a lot of stuff's coming about. But. I don't know. I think he's abandoned us. Uh, but no, he hasn't. Oh, well. God said he will never abandon the American people. Yeah. <laughs> he said specifically America. Well, he said his chosen people. Oh, we're his chosen people. I thought he meant the Jews. The Jews are part of his chosen people, but we are too. Well, I guess so, yeah. I guess we have to be. So, I mean, uh, we, we've won wars, but we've lost three wars. We've been at war longer than... We've been at war for like 200 years, as, lo as long as we've been well, a country. Because that's part of our world. And, and believe it or not, before we, for too long, the, the draft is coming back. Mm -hmm. And when it does... Who's, who's bringing it back, and, Trump? I don't know if Trump will or not, but mm -hmm. Trump said if he did bring, does bring the draft back, mm -hmm. he's going to draft women as well as men. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's yeah. even. It's even across the board. Yeah. So imperialism around the world. That's great for everyone. Right. So, but I mean, I wouldn't want to be on a foxhole with a woman. Oh yeah, no, because they're on their period all the goddamn no, time. No, huh? it's not yeah, that. yeah. What it's is not it? That, what is it? You'd be paying more attention to their protecting them. Yeah. Protecting them, you yeah. be protecting yourself. True that. True that. So see, you gotta understand what uh, things are in this world. Cause we weren't raised. Thanks, Dad. To go have women be in our service. Other mm -hmm. countries have. Yeah. Not this Israel. Country. Israel has a, yeah. a draft, and they have all their women well, so in there. So does Russia. Mm -hmm. and, and they're tougher. Look, look at North Korea. Yeah. You know what? The, why the reason that they draft women in, in North Korea? Why? So the so, male soldiers have sex with all of them. Must be nice. Man, I don't know. I wouldn't want to. Because they're Korean. No, not just that. It's, just, it's not because I, I think it's wrong to draft somebody just for that purpose. Well, I guess I don't know where the moral line is. Like, where is it? Is it wrong for someone to go? as a sex object or as an as a tool of death like where's the line? that's where i cut it my fucking phone was getting hot and i didn't want to fucking deal with this guy uh lesson learned don't talk to right-wing boomers they're a waste of time they're gonna die soon anyway just let them believe their stupid little beliefs they're gonna fucking go vote if they remember what goddamn day it's on and it doesn't fucking matter just let them just just let them die off spend your time doing something else maybe talk to a left-wing boomer if you can find one they're few and far between but they exist i've talked to them they're pretty cool that's it stay woke